What's up, Virgo? Time for your love reading. This is May 1st through May 15th, 2019. If you are a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo, this is for you. Or maybe you're just checking up on a Virgo. All right, we're going to take a look at the collective love energy, May 1st through the 15th, 2019. If you guys need a uh, private reading, just click below. My website's there. Word of caution, if you go to my website and you book a reading and you're having difficulty, please email me and let me know you are unable to book the reading. There's some shady shit going on, I think, with my website. I don't know if somebody is trying to cause some havoc or what, but let's just say things are not working as they should. So please go ahead, book your reading, but definitely email me. If you just email me and tell me you want a reading, I'm probably not gonna respond because there's some spam shit going on there, okay? I'll know you're serious if you go straight to the website. Um, again, if you're having trouble once you get there, then email me and put in the subject box that you're having issues booking your reading and we'll get it figured out. All right, moving on. Like, share, subscribe, please, as always, and I appreciate it. All right, Virgo, let's see what's coming in for your love life, May 1st through the 15th. All right, coming in. What do we have right now coming into the present moment? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There goes your energy. What's your challenge to that Six of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, sign of Pisces? What's on your mind, Virgo? The Ace of Cups. All right. What happened in the recent past for you guys? Ten of Swords in reverse. What's the situation? Why is all this happening? The Three of Swords in reverse. Much better in the reverse. What are you going to experience coming into the near future? The Seven of Wands. How do you see yourself right now, Virgo? The Five of Swords. You guys are taking your power back. Outside influence is coming in in your environment that you don't see is the Two of Swords in reverse. What's in your emotions, Virgo? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And what's the outcome for you guys? The Empress in reverse. Major Arcana, Taurus, Libra energy there. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. We got the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse, marriage, family, children, that kind of shit. But with the Ten of Cups in reverse, some unhappiness. Ten of Cups in reverse, again, it's that family or marriage card. But when it's in reverse, it's emotional dissatisfaction, Virgo. Or you're kind of just like faking it till you make it type energy. We have two tens here. So completing a cycle, okay, for some of you guys. Now, coming in with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, there's an imbalance, obviously. Six is all about balance. You know, it's one-sided. Somebody's been giving more than the other person. This can be time, effort, energy into a situation. The challenge is the High Priestess in reverse, Pisces. It could be to use your intuition regarding the situation or some type of secret came out is what's going on here. All right? I don't really feel it's intuition. I feel something came to light. Because on your mind is the Ace of Cups. You might still be in love with this person. Maybe you want new love too. We're going to have to clarify it. The Ace of Cups is also very healing energy. Because I do see a lot of healing and power in this reading. Recent past, Ten of Swords in reverse. See another Ten. So completion of a long cycle. You guys got over being betray betrayed or end, you know some type of ending. Was there betrayal? Was somebody giving to somebody else? And maybe this is their new love that they went on to. We're going to clarify. Because the situation, it's all happening due to the Three of Swords in reverse, Virgo. So was there third energy involved here? And let me just say, it doesn't always have to be romantic. Third energy could be anybody. It could be a mother. It could be a sister. It could be the dog. It could be a friend. Who knows? But the situation is either there was third party involvement here and that came to light. And that's why we have this unhappiness in the home right now. Or the marriage, family. But the Three of Swords in reverse is also healing energy, which we see went on in the recent past. Now, coming into the near future, Virgo, you got the Seven of Wands. So somebody's blocking out or being very defensive. This is walking your own path, too, with that Seven of Wands, fighting for what you want, having your guard up. Because you guys found out about a third party or you're healing. I hate that damn third party phrase. I mean... I'm just waiting for a tarot reader to name their channel third party. I just, I hate it. But, you know, if I see it, I have to say it. I just, I'm over it. 
Anyways, you see yourself right now as the Five of Swords. Yes, this can be a manipulation, but no, not in this. This is power. Because the Five of Swords can all look at him. He's like, I got the swords, MFers. Keep walking. Because the Five of Swords, as you see yourself, is taking your power back. It's putting yourself first. And that's why coming in, you're going to experience that Seven of Wands, too. Stay out. Keep out. So the energy in your environment that you don't see coming is the Two of Swords in reverse. Could be a Libra, and this is the Libra card. Um, two of Swords in reverse is coming to some type of final decision about something. We're not in two minds here with this energy. Taking the blindfold off and making a decision. All right. In your emotions is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I think you guys have just given up on something. Could be a marriage. We've got three tens in this reading. So you guys are completing a cycle. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. This is like... It's a legacy, it's stability, marriage, and long-term commitment. Pretty long-term with the Ten of Pentacles. But when it's in reverse, in your emotions, Virgo, mm -mm, not so much. You guys want to end it, or you just feel a lack of stability within this relationship for some reason. Now, the outcome has the Empress in reverse, more Libra in energy here. All right? Wife, mother. But when she's in reverse in a love reading, this is like a lack of, um, it's kind of ill energy. It's like something's not moving forward. Somebody's not being nurtured or loving a situation. This can be, you know, you don't feel good about yourself either. Like, you know, your uh, self-esteem is low or something like that. But it's just a lack of abundance and it's a lack of, of potential and growth in this relationship. So, Virgo, we're going to see why. We are going to see why. So what's up with Virgo? May 1st through the 15th, 2019. What do they need to know? So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their love life. Their love life. May 1st through May 15th, 2019. Virgo in love. All right, I already shuffled this pretty well. So I did a couple more, and we're going to get right to it. Let's check out your Ten of Cups in reverse. That's the overall energy. So like a divorce you know, dissatisfaction within the home or marriage or commitment. Why is this Ten of Cups in reverse for Virgo? What is it? Oh, hi, Ten of Cups in the upright. Okay, you guys are going some through some huge, like, cycle shifts, changes, closing out cycles, beginning again, completion. So overall, right now, you guys are either ending a relationship or a marriage because you're trying to get your happiness back with that Ten of Cups, all right? You guys have some pretty strong energy here. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Thinking about your, your happiness and your family's happiness overall. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Look, the Knight of Cups isn't always about somebody's bringing you an offer, okay, of emotion. The Knights are always in pursuit of something. They're coming, they're going. This Knight is holding up that cup. So this is almost like Virgo. Yeah, you could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but also this could be you, Virgo, like you're heading out. You got the cup up. Fill my cup, says Virgo. I'm getting my happiness back because it's a result of unhappiness or a breakup or something, of a marriage commitment. So coming in, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's just a lack of balance or something's one-sided here, and I think Virgo's had enough. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse about coming in for Virgo? Wheel of Fortune, big changes. And I said that at the beginning with all these tens. Okay, Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, Karma, lessons being learned, but huge, huge changes beyond your control. This is like the universe stepping in. Because coming in, there's some type of imbalance or somebody's giving to somebody else. These are just unforeseen changes that you really have no control over. So you hop on or you get off, but that wheel moves, right? It's in the upright. So this is for your, your higher good, really. This is like destiny in the universe coming in to play its part. Now, the challenge here is this high priestess in reverse. Who is this? This could be a Pisces. Some type of secret came out. You know, could be another person. What's this high priestess about in the reverse? Yeah, the moon. A lot of Pisces energy. Something came to light here. You got the high priestess in reverse and the moon. There was some deception or secrets or something came out here. You felt coming in, you're finding out somebody's given to somebody else or they're not paying attention to you, right? But again, this is divine timing. This is all about the universe, you know, playing this out the way that it's supposed to be played out. There are some type of secrets or deception. What's the moon as the challenge for Virgo? What is this? Ace of Swords, the truth. 
clarity, also severance. That Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. Like, you guys see this. Whatever's happened here, you, you see it, okay? There's no hidden factors here. You may have even communicated or somebody communicated this to you. On your mind is the Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups on Virgo's mind? What's the Ace of Cups about on Virgo's mind? The sun, sign of Leo, children, that kind of thing. I think you guys are, you know, you're loving yourself, you're healing. Because remember that Ace of Cups is healing energy. Um, also, some of you on your mind is just finding new love. Because with the sun in reverse, there's a lack of happiness here with this energy. Right? And the sun is in reverse also to a lack of healing. But, you know... So some of you are, are thinking about just going on to new love because there's no changes or there's no positivity or happiness here with this current energy. So you're, you know, getting out. And you're also healing yourself. A lot of healing energy. The past, you have that ten of swords in reverse. So again, healing. That pain's still there. It's still showing, but it's better than it was. Why is this here for Virgo? Yeah, ace of cups in reverse because somebody poured out their love. Somebody, again, I'm getting a lot of like one-sided shit here. All right, and you guys aren't having it. Recent past, you ended it, or you're starting to get over this betrayal or ending. Poured out the love, or they poured out the love. That Ace of Cups in reverse, it can be the energy of I just don't feel the way I used to, right? Unrequited. Situation, or why all this is happening, is this Three of Swords in reverse? Why is this here in Virgo's foundation? Justice in reverse, Libra in energy, a divorce. A lot, again, a lack of balance. So this is all happening because somebody cheated three of swords in reverse and there was an injustice this can be lies or an unjust somebody wasn't treated fairly okay and that's why coming in again we've got a lot of imbalance a lot of one-sided shit here also justice is the marriage card it can be contracts within marriage there's a divorce or something going on here if not again some unhappiness here due to deception somebody stepping out Something like that, or just a lack of balance. Give me one more card on justice in reverse for Virgo. The Empress. So, you know, the Empress is a court card. So Libra, Taurus, energy. There's an Empress involved here. Again, some of you are a wife. This is wife, mother, especially on top of justice in reverse. That's a marriage. But also what I'm seeing here too is there was an Empress energy involved and there was some um, injustice, some lies or, or something like that going on. Give me one more card on the Empress. Who is this? Yeah, Three of Swords. Look at that shit. Can't make that up. Third party energy all over this Empress. Okay, also just heartbreak. You guys are done with it. Coming in, uh, we got the Seven of Wands. This is what you're going to experience. So this person that you're dealing with, Virgo, they're going to be highly guarded, defensive, or this is you blocking them out. Why is the Seven of Wands coming in for Virgo? What is it? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Just taking your independence back. This is self-worth, abundance. So if you're worried about money or something like that, don't do it. You know, don't worry. Like, you're going to be okay, but a lot of you guys are just going to block this person out, walk your own path, and decide to be independent, single, why the Nine of Pentacles coming in? That's you guys, Virgo. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody may, be, somebody may try to come back around to you guys. Also, too, you know, money is going to be good, too. So if you're dealing with somebody and you're worried about money after you kick them to the curb, don't worry about it. Five of Pentacles in reverse on top of Nine of Pentacles, money's going to be fine. All right, I'm just saying. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. <clears throat> a lot of you guys are obviously married to this person or in a commitment long term. They're going to try to come back around for a lot of you guys. Tell me more about the higher effect for Virgo. Fool in reverse. But you or the other, you know, somebody in this equation says, uh-uh. Because the fool in reverse can be somebody that's acting foolishly. You know, not making wise choices. But it's also just not wanting to take a risk here. A lot of Aries energy here. Now, you see yourself as the Five of Swords. What's this Five of Swords? Why does Virgo see themselves as the Five of Swords? Temperance. Yeah, balance. This is you guys putting yourself first, right? It's taking your power back because you're balanced. You're going to heal, and you're being very patient. You know this is all about divine timing with that Wheel of Fortune. Your emotions are in check, and you guys are healing, and it's a lot of healing energy in this reading. But you do have probably somebody that's going to try to come back around. But I think you block them out. Now, outside of you in your environment is the Two of Swords in Reverse. So why is this coming in for Virgo? What is this? Two of Swords in Reverse for Virgo? Yeah, see, Three of Pentacles. See, somebody's taking off the blindfold. They're like, uh-oh, Virgo means business. 
I'm going to make the decision to try to work with them again. Three of Pentacles is like trying to come to some type of agreement on a practical level. Three of Pentacles can also be a social card, like going out there and discussing, you know, where are we? Like, are we going to build? Are we going to work together here? Why the Three of Pentacles? But, you know, I feel like this is you, Virgo, saying, mm, not so much. Three of Pentacles, why is this here for coming in for Virgo? Yeah, Hermit in reverse. And hi, there you are, Virgo. Major Arcana for Virgo. This is somebody coming back around, you guys. Somebody screwed you over, Virgo, and you're pretty much over it. And here they come. They're going to come back around and try to fix it. Because in your emotions, with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you're like, mm-mm. Not so much. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this here? Seven of Cups in reverse. You guys see the reality of the situation. You're not living in any type of dream world or fantasy with that Seven of Cups in reverse. You know, it's not, you, you see it clearly. And you're just kind of healing and over it. Sorry, cross watchers. Why is the Seven of Cups here in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles, that's you guys, Virgo. Just putting an end to it, it's stuck, it's not going anywhere, and you know that. You see the reality of that situation. Outcome, we got the Empress in reverse. Why is this here? In Virgo's outcome, what do we need to know about this Empress energy? Show us and show us now. What's this Empress energy about? The world, yeah, because of a lack of abundance, a lack of growth not being nurtured, not being looked after and cared for in this love situation, you guys are ending it and you're starting a new chapter with that world energy. This is a short reading because it's just all tying together. Why the uh, world? Why is this world energy and the outcome for Virgo? What is this about? Yeah, Eight of Wands. You guys might even block this person. You might be at a distance from this person too. Now, I don't know. I'm just saying. World and Eight of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of change though. It's like, it's not moving and you guys might just block communication with this person and end it. Let's see why they're the hermit in reverse, though. Why is this hermit in reverse coming in outside of Virgo's environment? What's the hermit want? What does it want? What does he or she want? What's this hermit energy? You might be done with another Virgo, too. The page of pentacles in reverse. You know, it's just, they're not valuing the connection. I mean, that page of pentacles in reverse is a lack of worth or potential. Again, I kind of see you guys cutting off communication. A lot of Virgo energy there. Again, obviously you're Virgo, but you might be dealing with another Virgo too. What's this Page of Pentacles want? What does the Page of Pentacles in reverse want? Yeah, the Ten of Wands in reverse to lay down burdens. I think, you, that again, another Ten. That's just you guys finishing out the cycle. Too much worry, too many burdens here. Seven of Swords in reverse. Also, this person, they want to complete a cycle, but they want to let go of the worry or the guilt or the shame and the burdens. They want to lay it down and come back. Seven of Swords is, I'm sorry, Virgo, I fucked up, but here I am again, returning to the scene of the crime, right? Also, too, you just let you guys laying down burdens because somebody was caught being deceptive or leaving or something like that. One more card on the Seven of Swords. Two of Wands in reverse. You guys just aren't taking action. You're not going to make plans. Again, another card of distance. Why does Virgo see themselves as temperance, though? So you guys are all about taking back your power, getting balance, remaining patient, healing. What's this temperance? Why does Virgo see themselves as temperance? The Two of Swords in reverse. Again, you guys aren't living in any type of illusion. You see everything for how it is. With the Two of Swords in reverse, you're taking off the blindfold and making a decision. What's this decision about for Virgo? Page of Wands in reverse to stop communicating. Leo Sag airs not to manifest this. Two of, uh, two of I'm sorry, Page of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm choking. Let me grab a sip of water. <clears throat> sorry, you guys. Page of Wands in reverse is a lack of communication, but it's also like just not manifesting, like not going. No, go, 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 go. It's more stop, 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 stop. So that's how you guys see yourself. All right, Virgo. So that's what I have. Let's pull some romance angels for you guys and see what the hell they want to tell you. Romance angels, what do you want Virgo to know, please? Give us some additional advice and guidance for Virgo. What do they need to know? Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes, Virgo, do it. You guys, the, again, I feel the energy is pretty strong here, healing and just picking up the pieces and moving forward. Give me another card for Virgo. What do they need to know? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. 
All right, before I close this out, I do want to, I was thinking about the overall energy is I want to clarify this Knight of Cups because often the Knight of Cups, somebody you're already dealing with, this is like an apology or somebody coming back in. You have ha you've had happiness with this person, but they've really let you down in some way, I think. Um, and you may have a family with them. What's this Knight of Cups here for Virgo? What do they need to know about the Knight of Cups? What is it? Yeah, see? The Five of Swords in reverse. This is coming back to clear the air about something. Swords is communication, mental energy. In the upright, somebody fucked you over. In the reverse, they're trying to come back to clear that. And it's right on top of that Knight of Cups. I'm telling y'all. One more card on the Five of Swords in reverse. What is this? What's this Five of Swords in reverse? The Page of Cups in reverse. But again, I feel like you guys just aren't communicating or you're not going to offer emotion to this person. So if you're cross-watching and you fucked over a Virgo, well, I don't know. I might just take a seat, at least until after the, the 15th of May. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.